everybody, this is Taz. I'm here to give you a quick wig tip today. We're going to talk about how to store your synthetic wig styles. Sometimes you rotate your wigs around where, um, like right now, it's winter time. So in the fall, I started to put away some of those short styles and pixies, and I'll be getting them out again in spring. So how do I store my wigs? Save the packaging that it came in. Save the box, save the tissue, save the cardboard forms, um, tags and everything. Save it all because this is going to be the most effective way to store your wigs. Just make sure when you go to store your wig that it's clean and thoroughly dry. Nobody wants to take a wig out of storage and expect to wear it and then have it be um, really gummy and sticky and warped because it was dirty when it went into the box. That's not going to permanently damage the wig, but you'll certainly have to probably shampoo and condition it and let it dry thoroughly before you can wear it. The reason why you want it to be thoroughly dry before you place it into the box is because that wig, if it's not thoroughly dry, can actually take on the shape of that box as it's laying there and drying inside of the packaging. If you didn't save your original package, no worries. There's a couple of things that you can do. Do you have a gallon plastic bag? This would be an amazing uh, way to store your wig and you want to slip in a dryer sheet just so the static electricity doesn't build up inside of the bag. So put a dryer sheet in. Before inserting the wig into the bag, you could turn it inside out um, or you could simply leave it like this, but just sandwich it together, pull up the bottom, slip it inside of the bag, And make sure you get the kind with the little Ziploc at the top. That way you can push the air out. So close it about three quarters of the way. Press all the air out. Finish closing it. Then you've got it something that's very efficient to store. A, a shoe box or a plastic storage bin of some sort, that would be appropriate to keep these in. You don't want anything heavy resting on top of it. It might crush the wig and alter the style. You can also use a plastic bin or a shoebox, just anything to protect the wig. So I can use one of these. This is, I just have some wig care products inside of this. Um, but these are pretty cheap that you can buy right at the drugstore or Walmart or something like that um, to use and store your wigs. They're easily to slip under the bed. You can place them on a shelf in the closet. So this is the original box that my Heidi came in. You'll notice that um, I do have all of the tissue paper. I have the, uh, the hair net. So what you wanna do is just fold it in half. Fold the wig in half. You can turn it inside out if you like, if it came inside out or if you, if you don't remember. It's really not a big deal as long as you place the net around it. The net is going to keep those fibers from shifting around in the box and you run the risk of it getting cold cramped or more friction on the style. So you apply, you can apply your wig net. I always use that, that knot, the knot there as a guide. So now I place that knot right at the front, like right at the top of the hairline. I stretch the net around the back of the wig, making sure that all of the hair is encompassed within the net, and sometimes that's a trick with a longer style. Once all the hair has been placed inside of the net, I place it inside of the box. Notice I saved the little uh, cardboard forms there as well. And they always have a little contour showing you how the wig is to be placed in the box. So this is what it looks like going back in the box. It looks very similar to when I received it brand new. So now the wig is ready to store long term. So what you want to do now is you want to make sure that you store it in a cool, dry place. You should avoid storing it in the attic where temperatures can reach very high and very low, it can be very moist. Um, you also want to avoid uh, storing it in the garage. Anywhere that's not climate controlled, you should avoid storing your wig there. But what I do is I typically just set it right underneath 
on my wig stand and it's ready to go for the next time. This has just been a quick wig tip on how to store your wigs. Enjoy your day. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet.